like how I smell cologne. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Not for real, y'all. <clears throat> I want to take a shot for these assumptions. And I got some wine while I sip and talk to y'all. Jazz? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she dared me to do this, so I'm not feeling this all the way to the top. Why not? Let's get it. That's cheating. Oh my god. I don't like I can't I don't know. Yeah, I gotta get lit real quick. Just some something, something. I'm being real dangerous right now because I'm doing too much. Y'all gotta take a shot with me though. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> I always gotta have like some water or something beside me. Give me some wine. Hold on. You ready? <laughs> I get nervous. Like, what the fuck? This shit is not right. Yeah, you got Shots are dangerous. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I did it. Cause I will have like some gag reflex and I will throw oh, up. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I have to set have a little sip of water behind it. <clears throat> but that ain't no joke. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, my baby dolls. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> Did I even start and say hey? Like, hey my baby dolls. I am so ready to do the assumptions about me. If y'all don't know, I posted on my story like a month ago. I posted beneath this video <clears throat> for y'all to tell me assumptions about me. And I see some good ones, <laughs> some funny ones. And I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to see what y'all. Y'all just took that shot and I low-key feel that shit on my, in my head like already. <clears throat> but I had to get lit. For this video, if you know me, you know I like skillet. And my best friend Jazz, she, you know, just pumped my little head up and told me, go ahead, take your shot. You know, she crazy. And I got my wine. So, I'm ready. Not for real, y'all. I really feel that in my head. Y'all might think I'm crazy to take a shot of Hennessy. Then drink some wine, but I'll be alright. <clears throat> so my baby dolls actually said a few things. I'm like, okay, hmm. Let me see what y'all thinking. Let me see how what y'all think of me. What y'all be assuming about your girl? Like, I really want to know. Okay, I'm gonna say some of y'all names if y'all don't mind. I feel like that'll be cute. All right, no, don't mind me if I say something wrong. Y'all got some long, long names, and some of these names just extra as hell. Okay. <clears throat> Nell, I don't know if this is supposed to be backwards. N e l l s t m. Nell, stem. I don't know. You said hustler. Yes, I am a hustler. Like I always been. Like I always. Wanted to get my own money and not to work under nobody. Like I always just been a girl that been into so many things. Hair, makeup, nails, like literally anything, clothes. If you're gonna do something, make sure you're making a coin out of something that you're doing or you love to do. Make sure you're getting that bag. Don't do be don't be doing no hair for free. Don't be doing no makeup for free. Put no eyelashes, eyelashes or nails and stuff. Just because it's just your friend or whatever period make sure that they still support you and respect what you have going on period because 
that's a real friend. They're gonna support you and they still gonna give you a coin. So I don't, but that's a whole other story. See, y'all got me on all the shit. But yes, I am a hustler and I like to make my bag. I will try to hustle and make my own money in my own time. So, yes. Makeup by underscore Maya underscore said that everyone thinks you're bougie but you're not by the way i love you i love you too baby doll i love you so much <laughs> people some sometimes yes people think that i'm bougie as hell like i'm not bougie i'm bougie in a good way i'm not bougie in a way that like oh she's mean as fuck she's too stuck up because that's what usually people think when they see a cute girl oh she's mean or you know like that's usually how it be but I'm not mean I'm very nice if you know me personally or if you can tell who I am through my videos you know like I have a heart of gold I'll give you my last I'm real <laughs> okay I'm gonna tell you what it is like whether you like it or you don't that's just how I am I'm just a real a real person I don't think I'm I don't think I'm bougie I think I'm a good bougie not a bad bougie because you can be a good and a bad just depending on you know it's all type of different bougies now <laughs> but yes and I love you too be Keisha hopefully I'm pronouncing this right you said you are shy sometimes I am shy I'm not gonna lie I, I can be shy depending like I know when I was in high school I was very very shy I think I've kind of open out of my shell from being shy I, it, it depends for me yes I can be shy sometimes it, it just all depends on it just all depends on what where I'm at what I'm doing you know I don't know she also said you don't like hair better than makeup because there's more hair tutorials than makeup uh you don't like hair better than makeup because there's more hair I think you saying you don't like makeup better than hair because there's more tutorials than makeup. Um, I love makeup better than hair. I feel like it's kind of a balance. I like both. Like I love doing makeup tutorials. I feel like makeup is my passion before tutorials or whatever. And I love wigs. So it's, it goes hand in hand. Like you know what I mean? Like I love my wigs. I love my makeup. If I'm got a bomb face, I gotta throw on a bomb wig. <laughs> That's just period. But I also like showing you guys affordable wigs and things like that, how you can look good on a budget. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a balance. I don't think I, uh, doing reviews though can sometimes be annoying. Doing hair reviews can be annoying. Honestly, I would rather do tutorials I would rather do makeup tutorials than hair reviews on my channel but I love showing wigs and stuff like that so yeah yeah <laughs> crystalicious underscore you don't tolerate fake shit fast to cut someone off I do not tolerate bullshit I know when someone's bullshitting with me because for one, I know when someone's, I can feel energies the first day I meet you. Like sometimes I only have to meet you to figure you out. I can just look at a picture and be like, oh, I know. I know that sound kind of rude and that sound kind of bullish because, you know, like you didn't even meet me. Like you just see me on a picture, whatever. But I'm really, you can ask my girlfriend, I'm just really good with reading people and figuring people out. I'm very, very strong with energy. So I don't know if you're bullshitting with me or you just being a fake bitch and you just want to be around me because you want to be around me, you know. I know a person is real because I'm 100% real and that's just period. I know when someone's bullshitting and I don't play with that. So if you bullshitting me, I'm going to let you know that you bullshitting me. I don't, I don't, yes girl, yes. I don't tolerate the fake shit. I hate fake people. Do not be around me at all. I don't, I don't like uh, fucked up energies. I know when your energy is off because I have a good energy. I got a good aura, so we ain't gonna balance if you fake. You feel me? Fast to cut you off. I don't give a fuck who you are. Gabby is G A period B B Y 3188. 
You're funny and very cute. Oh, thank you so much. I try to be entertaining as possible and also be myself. Like, right now, I'm really being myself. This is who I am. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so. Some of these words are way too long. Y'all got some crazy words. Prohibital. Fruta. Okay. Hopefully, I'm saying that right here. Your name is long. All right. That you're very confident. Yes, I am a very confident woman. Um, very, very confident. I feel like self-love is the best, best love. So when you have confidence in yourself and you love yourself and you know who you are, no one can tell you shit. And that's period. Like, nobody. Nobody. Your confidence gotta be up here. Because when, you, when your confidence up there and you love yourself and you know who the fuck you are, no one can say you a goddamn thing, and that's his piece underscore said that you don't have many friends or you're not friendly. <laughs> I'm very friendly. I'm not friendly to like, I'm just not like a friendly, friendly, oh yeah, but I'm very nice, okay? But I will say, um, I don't have that many friends. But I have a nice minimum of friends. I, I don't really like too many friends. I cut a lot of people off. And I realized once I cut a lot of people off. That a lot of stuff. Doors open. And I feel like that was like the best thing I can do. So if you have. If you feel like someone is somebody. Or whoever is not good in your life. And just not welcome into your life no more. You need a break. Or you need to figure yourself out. Do that because that stuff really helps. You know, just like I said, like I don't tolerate fake stuff where I feel like things are kind of like iffy and just not fully 100% authentic. Then, you know, that's just that. I'm just, I'm over it. Yeah, but yes, I have friends. I just don't have a whole group, a whole, I'm, I've never been like a girl that like a whole group, group, big ass, big ass group of friends. Like, I like to keep it small and subtle. You know what I'm saying? I'm good with that and I'm good to go. You guys really don't see like my friends like on my YouTube tutorials that much. You see a lot of my girlfriends, but you don't see a lot of my friends. But I'm going to start showing outside of them more so you guys can see. Because y'all probably don't think I got no friends. I just got my girl, but I do. <laughs> Cancers underscore prettiest. She said, nothing. You're just cute and I admire you. Just want to know if we can do a makeup collab. Oh, that's so sweet. DM me. You probably DM me before. Y'all have so many DMs. I apologize if I don't write back to people. I really apologize, but I appreciate everybody, everybody that DM me for real. Like y'all be so inspirational, y'all be so nice and loving. When I see it, I try to go back and forth and comment back to everyone as much as possible. DM me, DM your, DM me your YouTube and things like that. And I love to collab with people because I feel like everybody need an opportunity and everybody need a chance. You know what I mean, like. I'm down for collabs. I've never done one before, so I feel like collab collaborations will be fun. Um, underscore Benay, Benay, or something, B-A-N-A-Y. Um, that you're real freaky with Lee. <laughs> if you guys don't know who Lee is, that is my girlfriend. Her name is Aaliyah, but of course, people know her as Lee. And yes, we are very sexual. We're a very sexual couple. If you know me, I'm real freaky, period. Put us together, it's just like, wow, like the zoo. That's the way I like it, baby. Crazy me and you. <laughs> okay, for real, let me stop. Okay. <laughs> Gucci underscore beauty. You, you are a sweet and passionate person with goals and a drive for what you want. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. I am, like I said, I'm very sweet. And all of these things is definitely true. Your goals and drive for what you want <clears throat> is definitely 100% real. Like, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alien period XC. 
Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, girl. You're slowly getting tired of doing vlog. Uh, you're tired. You're slowly getting tired of doing vlogs. No, I'm not. I love doing vlogs. I just want my vlogs to be popping. Like I don't want no dry ass vlogs where y'all get tired of me and be like, oh, yeah, boy, I see your vlogs is getting boring. Like I want my shit to be popping. But I am working on doing more vlogs because I can tell that you guys love my vlogs. Like, y'all be really rocking with my vlogs. So, I fuck with that. I love doing vlogs. I love showing you guys my life and what I do. Um, and what I do and things like that. So, I, I'm going to try to vlog mostly every day to show you guys my, like, my daily life and what I do. Because stuff just be coming up and happening. I'd be like, damn, I wish I had my camera out. You know? So, I'm working on that. Alexis Simone, she said, a genuinely nice person, but when someone makes you mad, not so much. <laughs> you damn fucking skippy, for real. Because I don't like that. You know, it's like, uh, once again, <laughs> I'm very nice. So when you do something fucked up, I'm, it's it's an off and on. Like the, the switch is off. Okay, I'm done with you. Get out of my face. I don't want to talk to you for the rest of the day. Like, you, you just, you just, for the rest of my life, matter of fact, you just blew me. Because I don't have time for bullshit. You're bullshitting me. You, if you start tweaking on me, then, you know, that's a wrap. It's over with. Jaria, period, J. How could we have assumptions? You're so you. Congrats, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Yes, I try to be me as much as possible. Like, seriously. I can't do nothing but be me. You know what I mean? Like, I can't be no one else. I love me too much to be someone else. Or be something that I'm not. Do you know what I'm saying? Yours underscore hey. Your petite body frame and baby face has a lot, a lot of people fooled. You can be a pit bull if needed. Yes, I can. I definitely can. Do not fuck with me. <laughs> like, I can be small as fuck. And people are like, oh, she looks so nice. She's so little. She's so petite. Oh, she's like a little, you know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me. I don't give a fuck. Like, don't play with me. Okay? <laughs> because I can snap real quick. And you be like, damn. Who is she? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you like, what? This is you? Yes, this is me. People can be fooled, real fooled. You right. Okay, she said going to miss your family that going to miss your family now that you moved. Yes, I miss my mommy. I my mommy always missed me. Um, that's why I was living with my mom. Um, my dad. Yes, I mean I miss my dad all the time because you know I don't live with my dad, but you know, yes, my mommy and stuff like that. Yes, she misses me all the time. Be more creative and trying to figure me out. Cause once you like move and you li you know you live with yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's more not lonely, but it's just like you're by yourself now, you know what I'm saying? Like you figuring things out on your own. So of course you're gonna miss sometimes. Okay, so I know sometimes people be like, oh, you know, I can't wait to move because I'm tired of hearing my mama talking. She yelling. She doing too much. But sometimes you think about the moment. You look down. Kind of miss it. Like, I think people like, oh, shit, I'm not going to miss that. Look, you have your moments where you think about it and you be like, oh, fuck that. No, I don't. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I'm good. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. She has some good ones. She got like four, y'all. Let me, let, me, let me tell y'all what she said. She said, um, your girlfriend is the first girl, the, your girlfriend is the first girl you've dated. No, she is not the first girl I dated. I feel like a lot of people think that Aaliyah is my first girlfriend I dated or like, damn, you like girls, I didn't know. I'm going to talk about that in another video, but I'm going to make it short and simple. Letting y'all know what the fuck it is. Because no, Aaliyah is not my first girlfriend I ever talked to i would say Aaliyah is my first girl that i am serious with and it's real it's real like it's a serious relationship just like niggas like dated guys never took them serious you know what i'm saying like it is what it is Aaliyah is someone that was really you know 
She like, she seen me, you know what I'm saying? She seen what I was about, and she like, let me cuff you. She was ready. She cuffed me, and she cuffed the right person, and I'm glad that we are here together because I feel like genuinely, really, for real, like it was meant to be. And Aaliyah is not the first girl I've been with, but she is the first person like I'm in a real serious, serious relationship with. I feel like this is real. I feel like she is genuine. I feel like this is it. She is the one. Period. She also said you don't want to do a meet and greet. Hell the fuck yeah, I want to do a meet and greet, girl. I want to do a meet and greet. Why wouldn't I want to do one? You don't want to do a meet and greet. I do. I would love to meet you guys. Like, I feel like if I was to do one, though, I feel like I'd be nervous because I'm scared. Like, is people going to come? Like, when should I do one? Should I do one this year, next year? Like, I don't know when to do one. But I would love to throw a, a big ass, like, meet and greet. Like, I want to try to come and, like, turn up. Like, I'm a turn up girl. Like, I like to have fun. I like to kick it. Let's have some wine. Let's have some Hennessy. Let's turn up. Like, I really, really would love to have a meet and greet. And if you guys would love for me to have one, let me know. Like, I really want to have one. I think the fact, I think if I do have one, I think I'll just be nervous, of course, because I want people to show up and I want it to be nice. So, that's the only thing that I would probably be scared of. So, Z Glamorous said, I don't have any assumptions. I take in what you put out. Thank you so much. Kicking it with um, Iv said, you rather hang out with your boo than your homegirls. Um, yes, I mean like, uh, uh, me and my boo have fun together. Like, we legit be having fun as fuck. Like, I enjoy my girlfriend's company. Um, I never get tired. I know that sounds kind of crazy and probably creepy to somebody, but I don't get tired. I feel like we really balance each other out. We're at we here, we eye to eye with each other, and I feel like we just really is there. So she know when she wants to have her time alone, and she I'm at my house, she's at her house, you know what I'm saying? I love hanging around my friends because everybody needs their time to hang out with friends. Like, just let's be real. I love hanging out with my, you know, my girl, but I love hanging out with my girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody need that time, you know what I'm saying? There's, yeah, I just, yeah. I don't know. I don't. Sometimes I like hanging out with my girl more. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They love Asia underscore. This is not a. This is not an assumption. But I love you, and I want to meet you. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Oh, shout out to Dallas, Texas. Okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> I love when people tell me where they're from, and I just be like, whoa, well, like, damn, I really have support from literally everywhere and it just, it's it's so nice and the fact that some people want to meet me like i want to meet you too like i really want to do a meet and greet like i do like i really do and i love you too y'all be really rocking with me i i feel it i feel the energy y'all be so positive and i'm man bold and beautiful fame faces say girl nothing you're awesome <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> Remy Fox said, no exceptions, sis. You are fine as bitch. Such an inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You fine too, bitch. I see your profile. You cute. Okay. Hair on fleek. Your bangs is like popping, sis. Okay. African Queen 3.0. Your real hair is long as fuck. My real hair is pretty long. I can say, of course, I'm a natural under my wigs. I don't get parts or anything like that. Um, the shrinkage can't fool you, you know what I'm saying? But if I press my hair out, I would say my hair grew because I did the big chop. So I would say my hair is like right here now, right under my neck. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, yeah. Not long as fuck. I feel like long as fuck is like my hair, but <laughs> it's decent, like I ain't bald head. I'm not bald head. If y'all thinking like, why y'all never show your hair? I'm not. One day I will. She also said, she said a couple of things. She said, you're freaky as fuck in bed. Yes. I am. I can be your freak. I can, I can be your freak. I can be your freak every day, every week. <laughs> 
She also said, you're a very clean person and don't like things to be messy or looking like a bum. You damn skippy. My house is very clean. I like organization. I, I hate when things are all over the place. I'm just a very organized person. If things are not, I don't want to say perfect, but perfect, <laughs> are not in this place, then I'm, I'm kind of like, I need to get up. I need to move this around and do this and do that. So, yes, I'm a very clean person. And a lot of people probably be like, oh, I'm clean. And don't be clean. But, bitch, I'm clean for real, okay? I'm not joking. I hate a mess. I hate messiness. Like, I can't think straight if things are messy. Like, how can you function? I can't. You're only five foot. I think I'm... Five one five two. That's I'm very short. <laughs> Korea dot sassy said, "I think you're a real life. I think you're real life hood, but you control it for business purposes. I can tell you be lit. <laughs> yes, I love to be lit. Why I'm doing this? <laughs> I be lit. Like yes, I love to be lit. Like I just love to have fun. Like I like I like to just enjoy life and just be living. Like I'm that girl. I can pull a hood out." real quick you know what i'm saying not ghetto but i can pull it out real quick okay period if you play with me it's it's over it's a wrap i can put out i can you know what i'm saying people i think when people see me they be like oh she's so uh, she's so like mm, you know but really bitch i'm with the shits <laughs> okay yeah okay that was it that was pretty much it I think I said everything. Hopefully I caught everything because I was trying to screenshot all of you guys assumptions before um of course my story was ended. It it got up it's 24 hours, so I think this is good. You guys had some good, some amazing things to say. I feel really good. Let me call Bay. And tell her to come get me. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hey, you okay? I love you baby all so much. I love you all so so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah.